Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this episode, I'm removing the mods that increase the difficulty and the scaling. Uh, they've caused too many issues. Obviously, enemies aren't coming. Animals are spawning too much. Animal traps aren't working. And there's a few other bugs that need to be ironed out in it, I think. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is go into the caves and check if the cannibals are still in the large numbers. And if they are, I'm going to go kill them. Because I haven't really killed anything yet, and I really want to kill something. I guess I'm frustrated by this mod situation. I'm going to get the red paint because there's a lot there, and it's going to be hard. I need to be able to get the first hit on them. Ah, it looks like cloth isn't respawning. At all. <laughs> I wonder if that was part of the mod and it's kind of left it. So it's no longer going to respawn. Kind of makes building around here redundant. Okay, there's some friends there. Yep, yeah, and they seem to be angry. Which means that it's working. I'm gonna get dynamite, that's what I wanna get. Actually, I might kill him and see how much experience I get. Go on, go down, go down. Oh, you get a fair bit. Much more than cutting down effigies. Okay, dynamite, I've got that. Wanted to stock up on soda while I was here. Okay, I'm full. I'm gonna go to the cave and find those guys from before. It's seven times more. Really sucks that these mods aren't working properly. Okay, it's only restored them back to one. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was hoping they would spawn all through the caves and I'd have to deal with them. But, um. Oh, still alive. I leveled up. Ah, oh, sprint speed again. I'll sort it out later. I see the other three. Let's see how many are down there. Oh, it really sucks. It really does suck that these mods are playing up. I really want the game to be harder. God, dumbasses. Oh, what? Oh, I can somewhat move when I'm doing a power attack. Why do mods do this? They can't just change what they want to change. They've got to play change everything else. Uh, I'm not angry at the modders. It's just... Yeah, it's frustrating. I want the game harder, not easier. There's usually three here. There's only two. Ah, oh, mods. <laughs> oh, it's hard not to get frustrated by this. It really is. I'm back and grab that other body. I'm gonna burn those and start making some stuff. So like a upgraded spear. Now I can use a booze for that. I really hate that they've removed custom upgrades. Like, look where it's placing. It's just so crap. This is the way it was when it was first introduced. Then they added custom placement. I guess they couldn't get it to work properly, so they removed it. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to show you where I'm going to build where I think it's going to be the best. I've turned overlay icons off because it's too annoying. I've got so many log carts now because I was harvesting logs and getting sticks while I was waiting for enemies to show up. Oh, God. Okay, so I've arrived here. Where is it? This little pond. This is a role playing. This is why I was going to build here. It's because, as you've seen, they were patrolling uh, past here. This is where I'm going to build. Because there's a lot of enemies that come through here. Because it's in between the lakeside cannibal village, the center cannibal village, and the main cannibal village. Um, you're annoying. Oh, you removed most of my stealth army. You nugget. So it's not too far from a log cart, so I might bring them up. Unfortunately, about this pond, you can't wash yourself in it because it's too shallow. So I wanted the play upgrade points as a reward for playing on a harder difficulty, but that's just not going to be the case. I'm just going to have to build in a ridiculously hard place and go from there. Oh, I didn't mean to drop it there. That was a waste. <laughs> Let's try that again. 
Is he going to die? Yep. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot here already. There's three over there. I just killed two. Just cutting down trees to make another deadfall dial. Just going to probably put it around here somewhere. What I might do, because logs will start despawning if I get more than 50 on the ground. Start storing them. Okay, here's a good spot. It's not... It's quite close to the little pond there. And it's flat here, so that's where I'm going to do it. Okay, that's going to block my entrance, so I need to fix this up. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to be able to get in and out of this. Now, this one's going to use a lot more deadfall traps. I just realized. Okay, they're all spaced far enough apart. All right, this should work. Time to complete it all. Okay, I'm going to start completing them. So I've got all the logs, I just need the sticks. Don't take me long. Oh crap, they're here. I was expecting that. Um, okay, one trap's been triggered. I don't know what happened. Can't see. Okay, two traps. And two cannibals. Lovely. I'll light this area up as much as possible, I think. There we go. Light it up. Finish these off. There we go. They're all done. I'll grab these bodies here and whack them on the fire. Okay, enemies over here. They found me? Yep. I'll go inside, see what happens. Yep. There's one left. What's he doing? Sweet. That's really good. They didn't trigger too many. This is exactly how I thought it was going to go. Oh, well, exactly how I was hoping it would go. They're only triggering one trap, so they're not wasting heaps of my sticks. That generally happened with the deadfall wall. The deadfall wall was a wall. There's another one. He's by himself. Come on, attack me. I don't think I'm getting experience if I kill them with the traps. So, I want to kill some manually to get some experience. I'm not going to sleep tonight. I, don't need, I need to reset my body clock. I like how you can do this. So I can build these inside here okay so this would be the fourth lot of enemies to show up in the night oh jeez <laughs> I was a little bit worried that they could fit through that gap and come down but I think I've got to be right in that aspect. There was a third one. I don't know where he went. I thought that he might have been tripped up by it all. Oh, there's more enemies here. The mods aren't on. There's a lot coming through. Okay, so one's gotten through. What? He just fell asleep right on the spot. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, so there's a problem if they get in. Uh, they're able to trap you in there. And you'll probably have to use a spear or something like that to get rid of them. So maybe two escape routes for it might be a good idea. Yeah, that's how I'd do it. Okay, so if you're going to do this, allow it to have 
two escape routes. Not just one. Just gonna kill him. Fucking bloody hit him. Oh, stamina, 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 stamina. Uh, <laughs> he got killed. Uh, okay, with the cloth not spawning in the main cattle village, I think this is going to balance it out a bit. Because I had a, probably a very easy start not having to deal with enemies, because they weren't coming. And it doesn't give me too much of an advantage. Oh, God, you could do this. <laughs> this would bring them in too. Oh, this trap idea is better than I thought. <laughs> Because not only is this able to protect the meat, if they c it will draw them in, they'll try and get the meat from the rack, like get themselves killed. Ah, oh, brilliant. Now my other base is just down here, so it's not far to go to get my log carts. Because sticks are a bit of a pain up there, I've noticed. Okay, what I'm going to do to save time, oh, to make the most of it, is I'll come down here and get sticks and then I'll bring a cart up at the same time, so it's not a complete waste. We've got 20 sticks plus a cart. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, uh, go away. Oh, she did a backflip. I was expecting to outrun her then. Uh, I might kill her. As a means to see how much XP I can get. Oh, bad timing. Uh, maybe. Just maybe. Oh! <laughs> uh, That's what happens when you have a break from the game. You tend to forget the little things. Oh, Jesus. Oh, arrows. Jesus, just die, woman. Should have just done this block and then get my arrows. Oh, there we go. I have a lot of experience for that. 3,242. That's good. Put in swing speed. Ah, oh, Newton Armour. Now there's babies around here. I don't really want them to catch me off guard. Where are they? There they are. Oh, these are easy experience. I was just looking for my log cart and I just run into it. Okay, so I'm just going to take these back. So it must be day seven because mutants are spawning. Okay, something's triggered the trap since I've been gone. Oh, this mutant's here. Got cannibals. Yeah. Easy killings. Ah, I hate that. Okay, there's another one down. Come play in my little fort. Oh, he's still alive. Just died, bro. Okay, I'm much happier now that uh, I'm getting attacked. The game was getting boring. <laughs> I was getting so frustrated. So this is not what I want from this game. Please attack me. Okay, I've got too many bones. I've got to build a bone basket. Uh, where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it inside the bunker itself, I think. I can't really see him and he's in there and blocking away with the dead vault traps. I'm gonna build some skull lights here. It's too hard to see in the dark now. There's so many clubs lying around. Okay, so I've only got seven sap and I need to build a repair hammer because I damaged my traps when that situation occurred. I think I just destroyed my light that I built. What a waste. 
I'm infected. I need aloe. Good thing I've got a crap ton of it. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and get some of the resources from other base. Well, it's not really a base, more like a camp. I've got a lot of meat there. I'm just going to do one load. Grab my tape player, forgot about that. And I'll go down to the little camp, grab some meats, and I will take them back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to put all these meats on here. I wonder if this is glitching. It would work in real life, I guess. You just hang it over the next thing. But I need a repair hammer. There we go. Repair these. I really want to get in a situation again where I have to damage them. That was bad. Anyway, that's enough for one episode. In the next one, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty happy about this though. So yes, my recommendation for this is it is very good. It's better than what I was expecting it to be. But make a doorway in both sides like I would have made one here and try and keep it as thin as possible. If you actually make a mistake, it's actually not a bad idea to just destroy one of them because they're so cheap. These things are ridiculously cheap. And I don't know if you've picked up about this, about my play styles, that I'm very practical. I build things that can be used and are cheap to make. I guess that's why I like the survival games is that's what they're about, making the most of what you got, not creating big, massive monstrosities, which I've done before, but yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, jeez, look at this. I can actually make this inside here. This is insane. This is really good if you're really struggling with the game. You just build everything in here, make a bigger one. There's no collision for some reason. Uh, hopefully it's not the mods doing this. I don't want to give out fake news. What I might do in the next episode is go and get a boar so I can make a rock bag and a spear bag. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.